2K Sports presentation. None of that no fun league stuff in this game. Coming to you live from Miller Gold Stadium. Playing at home to a capacity crowd, it's the Ghosts. They'll be squaring off against the away team. I'm Dan Stevens, and with me as always, Peter O'Keefe. Let's take a look at today's All-Pro lineups, Peter. These two players are in the spotlight because they stand apart. They're the ones you write books about, tell stories to your kids about. Yep, they're the best of the best. But they're not the only team featuring superstars. These two players give the offense a lot of options. You need to account for both of them on defense, and that means rock, paper, oh darn, they just lit you up for six. Yes, indeedy, Peter. Now let's go to midfield for the coin toss. How you been? Good to see you again. The visiting team will make the selection. What is the call? We want tails. It is heads. We want the ball. The ghosts have won the toss and select to receive. Number three sends it away to begin the game. Number 86 catches it back at the one. Tackled at the 23. Number 86 got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Ghosts will begin the drive at their own 23-yard line. Picks up eight yards on the play. Eric Owens played it smart back there by following his blockers, and that allowed him to make some good yards. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Shoes up nine yards, and that brings up first down. First down, Ghosts. First down from the eye. First and ten from North Ghosts, 40 yards. Watch the counter! Watch the counter! Owens gets the toss and runs into traffic. Johnson takes him down back at the 36. Chris Johnson got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. Peter, they put an end to that play well in the backfield, and they had a real good read on that. Yeah, it all starts with the guys up front, Dan, and then everybody follows. Second down coming up. it for the fourth straight time and shoes up about four on the play. Third and nine from George Ghost's 40 yards. Chews up four yards, and that brings up fourth down. Tony Samuel made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's his third tackle of the game. Number 18 gets ready to punt it away. Olsen is deep to receive. Number 18 takes the long snap and punts it away. Olsen deals the punt at the 19. Brought down at the 25. Jeff Olsen didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The away. 
away team bring their offense on the field and will start the drive at their own 25-yard line. Number 26 tackles him for a short loss. Number 26 got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They don't let that play get back to the line of scrimmage, and that will bring up third down. Third down, five yards to go. Intercepted. Left down at the 38. Number 54 slips right into the zone here. Whether the quarterback doesn't see him or just discounts him, I don't know. But he's in perfect shape to reroute that pass into his hands and send their offense to the sideline. I mean, I suppose Miss Manners would have told him not to take something that didn't belong to him without asking, but Miss Manners has lousy hands anyway. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Ghosts are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 38-yard line. Owens has his little ball on first down and picks up the first down. And they eat up some major yards on that run. This is a well-prepared rushing game. Well, Peter, credit his speed, coupled with the great blocking that he got, not ensured he had room to run. They are the total package. What a run, Peter, and his numbers are adding up. Adding up to one big number. Up to now, he's got 33 yards on six carries. Number 40 falls in the pass and is at the 25. What down at the 20? Number 40 snatched it out of the air without any challenge from the defense, Dan. You know, my grandmother could have covered him better. They move the ball and it will be second down. Second down with two tight ends to the right. We'll get the carry on second down and heads wide left. Touchdown! Dan, check out all the yards he snarks up here. Yes, snarks. That's an old football term. <laughs> Tell you what, though, this is a great play. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have, Dan. So far, he's got 53 yards and one touchdown. Now the extra point, and... It's good. Epstein sends it downfield. Olsen fields the kickoff at the 9. Back down at the 31. Jeff Olsen got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan.
The away team stalled early last drive. We'll have to see what happens here. We'll start at their 31-yard line. Number 10 grabs the bullet and is well past the markers for a first down. Maurice Davis throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Shields takes this one way out left and gains about three yards. Second and six from the OA to 49 yards. Watch out! Watch out! Shields gets the call again and will end up losing a bunch here. Number 99 would not be denied and dropped them for a huge loss. That'll get the defense going. Big play. They force that one backwards, and that's going to make this third down that much harder. Yeah, they also make it easier on themselves by wiping out all of the potential short yardage plays they might face. Third and long. Third down, empty backfield. Davis throws this one right sideline, and it's intercepted. Brought down at the 35. Ryan Black gets a perfect read on the ball here, Dan. You do not want to tempt him to try for the interception. Because this is what happens. Yeah. He's got great hands, but he's also got the quickness to really hurt you on the run back. Which he does big time. What a play. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The Ghosts take the field, and they have had some big running plays. We'll see if another one is in the works. We'll start at the 35-yard line. Number 86 makes the catch on the right sideline, and he picks up nine. Number 86 had a defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. second down and gets well past the markers for a first. First down, two wide outs on the field. His number called on first down and ends up losing about three. Rondell Rasby got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Number nine brings him down behind the line at the 26. Number nine read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That will be two losses in a row. Great reads by the D on the last two plays, Dan. the first on third and long. Kerry Foster had three guys covering him, but look what happens. 
Incredible catch. On third and very, very long, and they come out with a big play to move the chains. That was really quite a call. Yeah, it sure was. Got to give those guys on the sideline credit for drawing up that bad boy. First down, goal to go. and goal. Picks up six on the play, and that brings up third down. Eric Owens played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. He gets the call again, and they're running early and often on this one. This is a great start. Well, when you set up a running game like this, you can really take over. Well, they can run, but they also have a go-to receiver in there. Let's watch. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Epstein from 18 yards, and it's good. Kevin Epstein made the easy three there. You know, if he had missed that kick, he wouldn't have spoken to his foot for a week. Epstein boots it away. Olsen hauls it in at the 11. Tackled at the 30. Jeff Olsen got a few yards off the run back there. Add that to the somewhat shallow kick, and that's a pretty good job by the special teams. The away team have turned the ball over the past two times out, so they'll need to be careful as they start this drive at their own 30-yard line. Number 15 catches it left sideline and gets past the markers for a first down. Maurice Davis zings this one perfectly. Great pass, great catch, great play. Let's have another look. Bullseye, what a precise throw. They keep doing plays like this, <laughs> they could be in big trouble. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. First down, two tight ends in the game. Loses two, and that will bring up second down. Number 98 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Ghosts enjoying a lead 10 to nothing. Number 86 hauls it in right side and gets past the markers for a first down. 16 yards on the play. First down away team. Number 86 fights for every inch of turf he can get. Watch here as he makes the catch. Right there, and then he runs for a few more. Classic overachiever, not unlike myself. 
Uh-huh. Ooh, that guy oh. was rumbling. <laughs> ha, he's not exactly fleet of foot, you know, but on that last play, he spun his wheels and really dug in for those extra yards. And when you barrel down the field like a Mack truck, you don't need to be fleet of foot. Shields gains 10 yards on the play, and that will bring up first down. The entire offense clicked on that play, Dan. Big yards from the runner because he knew where he was going at all times. First down with the tight end right. Richardson pitches it in the flat, and he's looking for room. Brought down at the 28. Trey Richardson made the grab as the coverage seemed like they were in another world. Whose man is he? They move the ball, and it will be second down. Let's go. Second and five from the OA to 28 yard line. Jeff Olson is all by himself, and he'll take advantage of it. Easy catch. That touchdown will bring them within striking distance of the lead. Yeah, big points, Dan. They did exactly what they needed to there. Number three goes back to the point after. Davis will hold the kick. the extra point and it's good. Extra point is good. Number three boots it away. Number 86 catches it back at the one. Dodges a tackle, brought down at the 27. Number 86 was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Ghosts bring their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 27-yard line. Fisher zings it to the right side and the ball's caught at the 30. Tackled at the 36. Number 86 had a defender close by but was able to bring down the catch. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Second down, just a single receiver on the field. First down. First down. Eric Owens makes a great run here, but the design run is far from foolproof. It's risky, but it's a lot easier when you've got such great blocking up front. Yeah, you don't want your quarterback smashing and bashing for yards. You want him to have a smooth ride all the way. Nice run, Peter, and he's putting together some very nice stats. Definitely. Up to now, he's got 70 yards on 14 carries. Owens goes right up the middle and heads up field, 
stopped at the 47. Eric Owens played it smart back there by following his blockers, and that allowed him to make some good yards. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second and three from the away to 47 yards. He's at the 35, 20, Owens gains a bunch on the play, and that brings up a first down. Dan, check out all the yards he snarfs up here. Yes, snarfs. That's an old football term. <laughs> Tell you what, though, this is a great play. He gets another call, and he's carried the offense on his shoulders for these last three plays. Hey, until it stops working, there's no reason to look elsewhere. First down, both wideouts to the right. Throws a bullet to the flat, and the catch is made at the 13. Gets out at the 9. Kerry Foster nabbed the pass without any challenge whatsoever from the defense. When you're that open, every quarterback in the league can get it to you. Three. Second and two. past the line tackled at the eight eric owens didn't get very far on that last play and he even had the help of some blocking i guess the defense had their number not much there but they'll get another shot on third and short third and one from the away to eight yard line takes them even farther away from the marker. It'll be fourth down. Marty Lyons targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his second tackle so far. Fourth down, three yards to go. Number nine will hold the kick. from 27 yards out and puts it through it's good Kevin Epstein knocked in an easy short one for three points you can tell he didn't doubt for a second that he made that they'll take the three points but they were hoping for seven but that's the second time today they get close only to have to bring in the kicker Epstein kicks it off. Olsen fields the kickoff at the 10. Tackled at the 32. Jeff Olsen was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The away team got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their 32-yard line. Shields gains three yards, and that brings up second down. Second down, two tight ends in the game. Shields gets the toss and runs into traffic. Dodges a tackle. Dragged down at the 41. He picks up six yards on the play. Number 26. Credited with the tackle. Third and one. From the away to 41 yards. Shields takes his 10th carry of the game and converts the third down. 
Salim Shields played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. A big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. Davis lets it go here, and the reception is made for a first and more. Five, touchdown! Number 21, he's going to make the catch, but that's only the beginning. He simply chews up yardage here. If you're the defense, you have to try and gang tackle this guy early, or it's lights out. They're all tied up now, and that is a big touchdown. And now they have a chance to go up on top. Number three is back for the point after. Davis will hold the kick. the extra point and it's yeah, good. It's good. Number three sends it downfield. Number 86 catches it back at the one. Tackled at the 23. Number 86 was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Ghosts came away with three last time out and are looking for more. They'll start this drive at their own 23-yard line. Owens gets the call on first down and heads left. No one in front of them. The 45, 35, 25, 15, 5, touchdown! Eric Owens rolls over the defense on this run. Watch this. He took it right to the tackler and took him down for the big yardage. Great job. That was his second rushing touchdown of the day. Not a bad day at the office so far. <laughs> That's typical production for him, Dan. He's that kind of player. the point after and it's good Kicks it away. Olsen fields the kickoff at the 8. Jukes. Back down at the 30. Jeff Olsen was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The away team take the field, and their running game has yet to get on track. We'll see if it happens here as we start it at their own 30-yard line. Davis fires this one over the middle, and the 
interception is made past the markers for a first down. A flag is thrown on the plate. Let's see what it is. Neutral zone infraction, number 99. Defense, the penalty is declined. First down with a split backfield. First and ten. Ball at the 42 yard line. Strong left. Strong left. Bro, bro, bro. Shields takes the hand off and searches for a hole. Popped hard at the 41. Number 98 got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That's his second tackle so far. Second and ten from DOA to 31 yard line. Davis throws a bullet and it's caught at the 48. Chase down at the 42. Gain of 17 on the play. First down away team. Jeff Olson is all by himself and he'll take advantage of it. Easy catch. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First and ten from World Ghosts, 42 yards. Two. Number 52 throws him for a loss at the 44. Number 52 read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Maurice Davis took a shot back there, which is why that pass went nowhere. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Ellis gets ready to punt it away. Ellis takes the snap and punts it away. Number 86 makes a fair catch at the 10. The Ghosts are looking for some separation before the half and will start this drive at their own 12-yard line. off right guard and maybe picks up one on the play. Second and eight from Rogue Ghosts, 13 yard line. Fisher zings to the right side, and the completion is good for six. David Fisher made a nice throw there, got it right past the defender. A decent play, and they'll now face third and short. That's the key, Dan. Make third down easy, and they did just that. Now they just need to convert. We'll see what they do. Third down, just a single receiver on the field. Owens 
Gets the call on third down and lowers his shoulder for the first. Eric Owens lowered his shoulder on that play and created some extra yards. That's in another run for him. He's definitely getting a workout so far. They're relying very heavily on their running game, and so far, I can't blame them. First down, the clock is now at 24. Picks up about two, and and that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Ghosts are out in front, 20 to 14. Okay, Dan, let's get this halftime show started. What do you have for us? As we look at the numbers from the first half and look at the turnover column, the Ghosts should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponents hang in there with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Number 54 is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way, and he's able to get his hands on this one and picks it off. The Ghosts, midway through the first, already inside field goal range. Owens is going to get the carry here as they grind it out on the ground, and he makes the most of this one. A 20-yard touchdown for the home team. Still midway through the first quarter, the away team down by seven. Black would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Ghosts have it off an interception. Fisher went to work on third down and he was able to find his man. That set up an extra point like 19 yard field goal. The Ghosts ahead 10 to nothing. Davis went to the air trying to convert on third down and he found his man. A 25 yard touchdown for the visitors. The away team climbed back into the game, now down by three. Now early in the second quarter, the Ghosts with the ball at the 48. Owens is going to take this one to the outside, and once he gets the corner, it's a foot race. That set up a 28 yard field goal. Midway through the second, the away team down by six. Number 21 came up with a huge play here as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. They take the lead for the first time and are now up by one. The Ghosts still middle of the second. Owens would find some running room on this one and then it was off to the races. A 77-yard touchdown for the home team. The Ghosts out in front, 20 to 14. Davis would find his target on this one. Unfortunately, the drive stopped shortly afterwards and they had to punt it away. And that will do it. The Ghosts are holding on to a lead, 20 to 14. All right, Dan, nice work. The away team will receive to start the second half, and this is a tight contest. Currently, they're down 20 to 14. Let's go down to the field. Epstein sends it away to begin the second half. Olsen fields the second half kickoff at the nine. Drag down at the 31. Jeff Olsen received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The away team had their last drive stall at the tail end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their 31-yard line. Davis rifles it out left side, and it's complete for a gain of three yards. Albert Russell had a defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second down, one man back.
Number 21 grabs the fastball over the middle, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Number 21 is going to make the catch here, but doesn't stop after that. He snares it and powers his way for more. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Shields picks up six on the play, and that will bring up second down. Nothing to sneeze at with that game, Dan. These guys are the complete rushing package, and they'll run it on you all day if you let them. Second and three. Number 15 grabs the rope right side, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. First down away team. Maurice Davis throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. Nice pass, Peter, and he's really lighting up the stat sheet. Oh, you got it. So far, he's got 192 yards and two touchdowns. First down, tight end to the left. Davis throws this on a rope, and the ball is caught for a gain of seven on the play. Number 86 drew three men on the D, but is still able to make the catch. Way to find the hole, settle in, and make a great catch. This guy can really twist up the coverage in that short area. That's right, Dan. Those quick routes have been open for him all day. Obviously, that's what the defense wants to give him. Shields gets the toss and gets past the line. Breaks three, chased down at the nine. It'll be first and goal. Salim Shields keeps it in the family on this play, and he had a lot of brothers to help him. Yeah, that design run was a success because he followed his blockers. Without him, he wouldn't have gone anywhere. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Brings up second down. Number 95 got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Number 21 smashes the dark right sideline up four on the play number 21 had a defender close by but was able to bring down the catch right there he was able to make a good grab and pick up a couple of yards that's the kind of play that can put a lot of pressure on a defense they tried to stop him but just couldn't get it done Throws a heater right sideline, and the completion is made. Show of the markers, however. That will bring up fourth and goal. Fourth down, goal to go. Number three from 19 yards, and it's through the goal posts and good. Number three made the easy three there. You know, if he had missed that kick, he wouldn't have spoken to his foot for a week. Number three boots it away. 
Number 86 fields it way back at the 30. Stop at the 24. Number 86 was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Ghosts offense takes the field, and they will start at their own 24-yard line. to six. The pick up of six yards on the play. Ryan credited with the tackle. Let's go! Second and four. Ball at the 30-yard line. will get the carry on second down and picks up a couple. Eric Owens had blockers on his side on that last play, but the defense was too smart. It gave him nowhere to go. Not much there, but they'll get another shot on third and short. Third down, two yards to go. takes them even farther away from the marker. It'll be fourth down. Number nine targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got five tackles. Number 18 lines up to punt after the three and out. Number 18 gets the snap and punts it away. Olsen fields the punt at the 33. Tackled at the 38. Jeff Olsen didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The away team take the field, and their running game hasn't generated much other than a big play here or there. We'll see how they fare as we start at their 38-yard line. Number 52 tips it away on the coverage incomplete. Number 52 gets a hand on this one. Right there. That's how you play D. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Second down, two wide outs on the field. Davis throws a bullet to the flat, and it's tipped incomplete. Number 21 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. If complete, that would have made for a bit shorter third down play, but the defense had other ideas. The anticipation to the throw was key here. It made all the pieces fall into place. Third down coming up. a play on this and forces the incompletion. It'll be fourth down. Maurice Davis rushed that one and it went incomplete, Dan. He needs to stop and smell the O-line every once in a while. That's three in a row that have fallen incomplete. Yeah, he's starting to press a little, Dan. I think the coach may want to pull him aside and just you know, settle him down a little bit. Ellis gets ready to punt it away. Takes the long snap and punts it away. Number 86 fields it at the 23. Hammered down at the 25. Number 86 didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. 
The Ghosts stalled early last drive. We'll have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 25-yard line. Owens punches this one left of center and picks up a couple. Eric Owens used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second and eight from your ghost, 27 yards. will bring up third down. the first on third and long. David Fisher doesn't leave much room for error on this one. It's either a great pass and completion or an interception. Let's take a look. Well, that's a great catch and a great completion. You don't see many quarterbacks thrown into double coverage like that and succeed. What a pass, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, absolutely, Dan. So far, he's got 87 yards and no interceptions. First down, two receivers to the left. up first down the entire offense clicked on that play Dan big yards from the runner because he knew where he was going at all times he gets even more yards on the ground a productive first half and the second half is shaping up to be just as busy for him until he slows down there's no reason to change it up up a couple with the carry the pickup of two yards on the play Lions with the tackle second and eight from the away to 30 yards Tackle at the 19. Eric Owens keeps it in the family on this play, and he had a lot of brothers to help him. Yeah, that design run was a success because he followed his blockers. Without him, he wouldn't have gone anywhere. What a run, Peter, and his numbers are adding up. Adding up to one big number. Up to now, he's got 221 yards on 30 carries. First down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. Called on first down and picks up a couple. With the carry, a pickup of two yards on the play. Farmer with the tackle. Second and eight. about three yards. Gain of three on the play. Rasby credited with the tackle. Third and five. into traffic Wade takes the hit in the backfield at the 18 fourth down coming up 
Earl Wade came in like a pack of wolves, cornering him in the backfield and then taking him down for a big loss. Peter forced the loss of yardage on third, and now they face a fourth and long. How, how do you rate that defensive performance? Uh, how about A-plus, two thumbs up, five stars. It's all good, baby. Epstein kicks it from 35 yards, and it's through the goalposts and good. Number nine handled this high snap perfectly. Sets up the ball. There's the kick, and it's good. Three points. That field goal makes him three for three out there. Hasn't missed one yet. And you can't coach that. Sends it downfield. Olsen fields the kickoff at the 9. Tackled at the 29. Jeff Olsen tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Ghosts are out in front, 23-17. The away team will start this drive at their own 29-yard line. Shields gets his 16th carry of the game and will end up losing a couple. Number 54 read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That's his third tackle of the game. Second down from the shotgun. Number 21 reels in the football, and that's a gain of seven on the play. Maurice Davis has great accuracy on this throw. Yeah, he put the ball right where his guy could get it. And the defender couldn't. Nice toss. Again, he uses the middle of the field to advance the football. And uh -huh. Dan, why not? Well, they, they found some seams, some crease right in the middle, and... Well, they feel they can take advantage of it at any time. Shields will take the handoff and gets up field. Brought down at the 38. Number 26 with the tackle. Fourth down coming up. Number 26 brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. They let the ball move close to the first, but they could not let it pass. That's a great job holding them back, Dan. Fourth and short. Eller winds up to punt after the three and out. Ellis takes the long snap and punts it away. Number 86 fields the punt at the 22. Drag down at the 26. Number 86 got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Ghosts came away with three last time out and are looking for more. They'll start this drive at their own 26-yard line. Owen carries him off the toss and heads up field. Finally stopped at the 42. First down. A gobble up at 20 yards on this play. This is a formidable rushing game, Dan. Nice run, Peter, and he's putting together some very nice stats. Definitely. Up to now, he's got 237 yards on over 30 carries. First and 10. Ball at 42 yards. the call on first down and heads out right stopped at the 48 
Second and four. Ball at the 48 yard line. about seven and that will bring up first down penalty marker down on the play let's listen to the call face mask number 38 defense first down Chris Johnson held the face mask back there but it was kind of iffy that's a five yard penalty and a right call First down, two tight ends in the game. Owens takes it off the toss and runs into traffic. Rasby tackles him for a short loss. Rondell Rasby read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. Another tackle, and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating, Dan. So far, he's got seven tackles. Owens oh, gets yet another carry for the day and gains about three yards. takes them even farther away from the marker. Fourth down coming up. Rondell Rasby read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. He's been working hard so far. That's his eighth tackle. And each one of those eight left a bruise. That guy can hit. Number 18 lines up for the punt. Number 18 gets the ball and punts it away. The away team let it bounce, but will pin them deep at the five. Number 18 angles this one nicely and puts it out of bounds and away from any potential return inside the 10. That's a nice punt. The away team have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at their own six-yard line. Number 95 takes the hit in the backfield at the three. Number 95 keeps his man from getting back to the line. Let's watch. Pow! Oh, that's got to hurt. That's his second tackle so far. Second and 12. Ball at the three yard line. up four yards and that brings up third down third down and four wideouts in the game shields gets the call on third down and takes it upfield Finally drop at the 17. Salim Shields made a great juke move there. The defense couldn't keep up. You know, it reminded me a little of some of those cool dance moves you were showing off at the hotel bar the other night. Well, yeah, except he doesn't have that, you know, the white man's overbite thing. It was third and long, but it didn't phase them. They moved the ball, and now they moved the chains. Yeah, really nice play calling, Dan. Shields loses one on the play, and that will bring up second down. Number 26 got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. Another tackle, and it seems like we're always calling his name. What a hitting machine in the secondary. He's definitely carrying his weight back there. Shields has his number called on second down, and 
think we'll end up losing a bunch here. Davis takes the pass and it's tipped incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Number 52. Cuts in there and gets himself in a perfect spot. Absolutely, Peter. He's able to keep the receiver from getting near it. Well, the closer you play, the better your shot is at breaking up the completion. That's the second time he slapped that ball out of there. Excellent read and reaction skills make him a nightmare to try and get the ball past. Ellis lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Gets the ball and punts it away. Number 86 hauls it in at the 47. Dragged down at the 44. Number 86 got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Ghosts have a short field and are starting this drive at the 44-yard line. Number nine tackles him for a short loss. Number nine read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got seven tackles. Second down, and they line up with three tight ends. Gets the call again and heads out right. Bang down at the 41. Third and six. them even farther away from the marker fourth down coming up rondell rasby targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage peter he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it you bet so far he's got nine tackles number 18 lines up to punt after the three and out Number 18 takes the snap and punts it away. Let the punt bounce for a touchback. Number 18 saw his kick go squirrely on him for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck. The away team haven't gotten much out of their offense recently and are looking to get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 20-yard line. Davis fires this one over the middle, and it's tipped incomplete. Troy Hunter came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Yet another big play by this defense. That was their fifth batted ball today. Yeah, you can see them start to anticipate the path of the throw the minute the quarterback winds up. Number 15 snags the missile and picks up four on the play. Number 15 saw that he was singled out there and did just enough in that pattern to gain separation and haul that one in. But, you know, this is just not working. He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team is always throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the catch. Exactly.
Davis rifles it out left side and is caught at the 35. First down, one man back. Number 21 grabs the fastball over the middle, and that's good for a gain of five. Second down, the clock is stopped at two minutes. Zips it to the left sideline, and the reception is made for the first down. That will stop the clock at 1.57. Jeff Olson got out of bounds at the end of the run and wisely stopped the clock. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. First down with the tight end right. the first the clock continues to tick down Jackson and the clock will continue to run Black takes a play on this and forces the incompletion Brian Black came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. You know, Peter, if this were volleyball, that would have been the defense's sixth spike of the match. Yeah, the O keeps setting it up and the D keeps sending it back. Third down, the clock is stopped at 1.27. Davis gets some air under this pass, and it's complete, and he can run. Touchdown! Maurice Davis throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. He scanned over the matchups, found the right guy, and netted his third touchdown of the day. Oh, Dan, you can't be indecisive in this league or you won't last very long. Number three lines up for a one-point lead. Here's the point after, and it's good. Number three kicks it away. Number 86 fields it way back at the three. <laughs> Stop at the 26. Number 86 was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Ghosts start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 117. Samuel makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Tony Samuel came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second down. The clock is stopped at 113. 26 yards.
Owens gets yet another carry for the day and heads up field. Tackled and the clock will continue to run. It will be first down. First down, three wideouts in the game. It's intercepted. Brought down at the 49. Jeff Howard has this pass dead to rights all the way, Dan. He's got the interception and enough room to run the ball and give his offense a head start. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The away team will start this drive near midfield with the clock at 49. The Ghosts take their first time out. Seven on the play. Number 26 with the tackle. Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second down, three yards to go. Shields gets the toss and runs. The Ghosts will take a timeout. That's their second. Number 21 executed a beautiful backfield tackle there to back him up. An awesome hit. That's his second tackle so far. Third down, the clock is stopped at 42. Chief, the Ghosts take a timeout. That's their final one. Number 99 made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. The defense didn't budge on that play, and they force a fourth down. Ellis lines up for the punt. Ellis gets the ball and punts it away. Number 86 deals to the front at the 11. Stopped at the 18. Number 86 racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Ghosts will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at 30. Fisher throws this on a rope, and he connects for a pickup of four on the play. We have a penalty marker on the play. Let's get the call from the field. Holding, number 50, offense, half the distance to the goal from the spot of the foul. Repeat, first down. Bill Curry held his man on that play, and hey, you can't do that. That was offensive holding any day of the week. First down from the shotgun. Number nine tips it away on the coverage incomplete. Second down, the clock is stopped at 22.
Fisher tips it to the left sideline, and the reception is made. That will stop the clock at 18. Third down and four wideouts in the game. David Fisher carries this one out of the gate, and it costs him big time. That's not the guy he was looking for, Dan. The D really brought some pressure to bear. Dan, this All game right. is over. There's no way for the D to stop the clock, and the offense is just going to sit on the ball to win this one. Takes a knee, and that will do it. That last play wasted enough time to allow them to run out the clock now. All they need to do is sit on it, and this game is in the bag. And that is going to do it for this one. The away team come out on top 24 to 23. With this one in the books, let's take a look back at some of the action. That was an exciting game. So let's not waste any time in getting to the highlights in our post-game show. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Davis connected with his man on this one. That set up a no-brainer 20-yard field goal. The away team climbed back again and are now down by three. Midway through the third, Fisher went to work on third down, and he was able to find his man. That set up a 36-yard field goal. Later on in the fourth quarter, the Ghosts leading by six. Owens would let his big old offensive line pave the way on this one. The away team, middle of the fourth, Shields got the carry as they stayed on the ground on third down, and he'd make it pay off. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. The away team down 23 to 17. Davis went to the air trying to convert on third down, and he found his man. A 32-yard touchdown for the visitors. The away team take their first lead in the half and go up by one. The Ghosts, late in the fourth quarter, Howard would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. Late into the fourth quarter, the Ghosts trailing by one. Johnson shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. And that's how we'll round this one out. The away team edge out a win, 24-23. So then, it's time to give recognition to our 2K Sports player of the game. Maurice Davis dominated the game like a true legend. What a performance, and I have no doubt that this isn't the last time he'll showcase his talents. We'll be hearing much more from this guy as time goes on. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time.